Today's video it's all dedicated to 2D plums inside Lumion Pro 12. My name is Katrina Makarn Designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. Today's video is dedicated to exploring 2D plants inside Lumion Pro 12. So my suggestion for this is something I start uh, doing it for fun, uh, really in just one of the, um, the projects I had recently. And it was just a technique for illustration purposes, okay? This is not exactly a um, useful planting plan. I still do my planting plan using SketchUp and Layout, but this is a cool idea if you want to change a little bit for um, the way of illustrating your project okay so I'm going to show you how I do it so basically what I do is I have my plan my project plan a very simple one uh, just to show you here in SketchUp okay so we have this um, plan view of your uh, project and basically what you need is you need two files the SketchUp with just the plan of the project site and the other um, with the plants on it okay so without any textures of anything else uh, and no faces as you can see it's just the lines no faces in anything except the real the plants okay so just a quick um, a quick uh, uh, explanation uh, so basically what I do is I have my plant so as you can see here in the component I have the name of the plants as you can see and I have all my plants as components uh, in a folder I actually talked about this in another video it's I, I add the, that link in the description of this one if you want to check it out so basically I create components for my plants inside a sketchup I have them all in a folder so 2d okay just for my planting plants and I add them to my projects and after I can run a report inside SketchUp and it gives you my quantities of each species, etc. Okay, so it can be quite complex uh, in terms of um, uh, all the information that you can add to each component, but that's just a quick um, a quick um, description of what I actually do in my projects. So basically, each individual plant that you have here, okay, in my planting plan inside um, SketchUp is a component, and this is useful for me after in Lumion when I import that uh, file that file into Lumion, um, I can add textures, I can add leaves as a material. So you can do a really interesting thing if you want to use it for illustrations. Okay, it to imagine that you have a nice uh, project that you really want to illustrate in a different way. Uh, why I think this is so cool because you can actually um, add leaves. You can can add real textures to things uh, and at the same time having everything in 2D like I have it here. Okay, as you can see here, let me just show you. Uh, I have this as a color, okay, so I can add any color, anything to the to the component. I can add uh, uh, just a stone uh, texture. So you can be really creative or you can add actually a photo of that plant if you want, of that texture of the plant, etc. But before that, let me just show you why I need two plans. So basically what I have, I have one plan on top of the other one. So I've uploaded both files and the planting plan, when I upload it, let me just show you. So you go here and import. When you upload the, the plan, so not this one, let me just go you quickly to show you. So I have, I've uploaded, this is the, the basic plan, okay, of my layout of my garden with the, with the, the residence, uh, with the architecture and the pool. And this is my planting plan that has everything just in lines, no faces, no textures. And I've uploaded them when you open. Okay, I'm not going to do it because it's already here. I've imported with edges and lines. I, I think it's important so you have a really good um, texture of the, the, the different plants. Okay, if not, they lose a little bit. Uh, so don't forget to import them as um, with edges and lines. Okay, so basically um, I wanted to, uh, to add the two plants. So I have one with just the textures because it can... It, when you have a SketchUp, when you have a, a file in SketchUp, I'm just going to show you something really quick. Just going to go here. And 
and if I upload this like this the planting plants with the textures uh, on top of my of my of my uh, file so everything in one file it can get really confusing I'm just going to save this and I'm going to show you in um, in Lumion how it looks okay bear with me a little bit So I've saved that and I add that planting plant component directly to the same file that I have all my textures apply of the grass areas, deck, etc. So as you can see, you have this, you have this um, always um, um, flickery of the of the textures. This happens because basically what you have is one texture is exactly in the same plane as another texture in your SketchUp file. OK, so this will be uh, very messy in here. Um, so that's why I decided to actually upload them into two different fold in the two, two different files. OK, so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to save it and I'm going to um, just quickly uh, update my file here okay so that's why that's just to avoid that problem of the flickering of the textures so like this what I have here is actually I have a plan on top of the other one as you can see here I have two on the same spot let me just show you if I go up with my plants I have here just my plants and it's really cool to do you can do you can actually do this split a little bit for so you have some shadows to play with with your plant it is I think it's quite fun so you can get really creative I think it's a good idea again for illustration this is not a practical planting plan okay um, all the information that you need is in SketchUp really in terms of description of the plant and number of I of uh, quantities of the plant etc um, even the size okay but this is just a cool way to show you uh, some uh, illustrations for your client if you want with mixing uh, a bit unrealistic textures in the planting components with the real textures of materials and water of the pool etc plus in Lumion you can always use the utilities texts the text to, to just quickly write grass area for example pool area uh, things like this okay if you want So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, show you after the, the don't forget okay like we have here let me just show you sorry you need to the visible range and you need to fade and the orientation style need to be one so that's why I'm not seeing it here because it's actually to so I need to be a bit visible range a bit further away okay so this is just the, the way you can see at uh, the distance you can see what's written over there okay so don't forget Lumion is not to use really as 2d uh, tool um, but I think it's a cool idea um, if you want um, just to change things up a little bit um, I really like I like to to play around with textures um, I think it's a cool idea plus you know you have some areas for example the grass areas you can still actually uh, add the 2d uh, the 3d grass if you want uh, and you can add leaf textures to your to your plants as well if you want if you want to change things a little bit plus you can add real images of the textures of the leaves for example if you want uh, the agaves you know you want you can have a texture of the leaves add to the um, to the texture of the plant uh, for that you just need because they are all as components inside uh, SketchUp so if you change one you change all of them so that's pretty cool as you can see here I'm selecting this planting uh, in here this yellow one and you can see all the same they will change at the same time the same with for example this one that's an agave you'll change all of them at the same time so that's cool as well plus another thing you can do and this is and again just you know if you want to have some fun with this um you can actually layer on top the 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 3d plants you know that you're gonna that you're gonna suggest the that uh, that symbol um um 
uh, describes okay so if you want for example you have you have real 3d plants uh, on top of the planting plants insights that they are that you described inside sketchup so this is just a quick fun video if you want to, i just find uh, interesting things to explore lumion you know not always using just the same way for the 3d but sometimes it can be fun uh, using as a 2d tool as well see you guys in the next video don't forget in the end of this video i'm gonna put some images that i've done from this um, project see you guys in